Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we've got another instalment of my skin tone series and today we're looking at Arteza pencils. So in case you don't know I have a whole playlist of coloured pencil skin tones in all different brands. So so far we've got Prismacolors, Polychromos, Black Widows and Luminance and today we're adding to it with Arteza. So this first page is just for the 72 set of Arteza which I think the majority of people uh, in the colouring community have because they've been out the longest and the 120 set has only just been released so many of you might not have the whole 120 yet but for those of you who do I've also created another page of skin tones including colours that you can only find in the 120. So the first page we're going to do together, you can find all of these colours in the 72 set. So I'm going to get started, let's zoom straight in so we can see what we're doing. Here we go, so uh, making sure, let's pull you down a bit because of that glare off my uh, my light. You'll know what I mean if you watch me often. <laughs> Got a glare from the overhead light. So uh, yes, we'll start off with Coral which is A046. And I'll just show you the blend of the colours, but obviously you'll have to apply these to a, a skin tone, you know, a portrait coloured page, whether that's um, someone's face as line art or a, a grayscale coloured page. Um, you'll have to apply this blend to that. I thought it'd probably be easier showing you the blend than actually colouring a whole different face for every single one. This coral pencil seems to have a little bit of darker pigment running through it for some reason. Don't know whether you can pick that up, but I'll do my best anyway. Uh, so we've got coral, apricot. Apricot is number A034. And that's a really nice peachy tone. It wasn't really that easy to come up with this many skin tones for the 72 set because it is quite a small set and there's not a lot of very light delicate colours in it so it is very difficult to sort of come up with realistic looking skin tones I want to say. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go completely to the end with the apricot very very lightly because the next colour is ivory and it's just a little bit too bright of a yellow. I could have done with something a little bit like the buff titanium from the Carandash Luminance for this, but all I've had is uh, to work with is the ivory. So I'm gonna go over the apricot just to dull down that ivory a little bit so it's not as yellow. And that makes it just a little bit more realistic. Now I've put white quartz here as an optional extra. If your ivory was, you know, way too yellow looking or you wanted to dull down this coral a bit because it is quite a bright colour you can come in with your white quartz and using hard pressure if you just go over can you hear all my pencils snapping um it's just because i've sharpened them too sharp really so the tip just pops off uh, so if you go over it with your white quartz it will just desaturate that coral down a little bit to a more a more realistic looking skin tone So these pencils are fairly hard so you might need to build up layers with rather than you know doing quite heavy pressure like I do just to get a more smooth looking result but I think that's pretty good so that's the first of our skin tones next up we've got flamingo pink which again is a really bright pink I know you're gonna be thinking what are you doing but don't forget that the colours on this end of each um, box are for your shadow areas. So you won't really be using a lot of this colour, if any. You know, it'll be really, really light touches in the deepest shadows of your skin tone. But this obviously is a really pinky skin tone, which, you know, it does exist. People have super pink um, undertones to their skin. So, you know, if some of these tones look a bit odd on first glance... Um, you know you can always tone them down a little bit with a grey or a light purple or a white so that's the flamingo pink now we've got the pink macaron A083 
really nice blend with the flamingo. And then finally peaches and cream, which you you're going to see a lot of this colour, particularly on the next page that I'm doing for the 120 set. And also a brand new colour they've come out with called Earth Red, which is one of my favourite colours. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I think it appears in almost all of the uh, <laughs> almost all of the 120 set combinations that we're going to do next. So last up is that peaches and cream. It is probably the lightest of this skin tone colours in the Arteza set, Peaches and Cream. I'm hoping that one day they might extend to 150 and then, you know, the extra 30 colours that they put in might be those very delicate tones, really light, pale, desaturated tones. Um, you know, like when you skip from the 132 prismas to the 150 prismas, you get a lot of sort of mid sort of filler filler tones and, and light ones as well. So that's what um, I think Arteza could benefit from is getting some lighter tones because the colours are really, really bright and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just more sort of difficult to get realistic skin tones out of them. So I'm just going over the whole thing with that peaches and cream just to make sure it's all nice and blended. Again, if you wanted to, you can bring in the white quartz to dull down the flamingo pink a little bit. So as you can see from those two that we've just done, this one is much more on the peach and orange side of the scale, whereas this one is more of a pink undertone. So we're moving into, if I just zoom out slightly, we're moving into the more golden tones now. So we're starting off with cinnamon, which is A027. This one is a five color blend, so I need to gauge how much room to leave in my box. So if you are wondering, well, this is all well and good, but how do I put it on an actual face and where do I put shadows and things? Where do I actually put these colours on a face? I do have plenty of how to colour skin tutorials on my channel, which are actually done on faces. <laughs> so you can apply these different colour combinations to those tutorials. If you just type in on my channel, um, skin tone tutorial or how to colour skin, something like that, you'll find all of my tutorials. This is Burnt Ochre A113. And I just want to say um, thank you to those of you who are watching all of my different skin tone videos for the different brands because I know that a lot of the information that I'm saying is going to be repeated because um, I, I don't know whether everyone is going to watch every single video. So I have to get all the imp uh, important information in every video. So if you think there's a lot of dust and things coming off these pencils, there really isn't, not off the Arteza. It is just because I've sharpened them to a razor blade point and those tips will always break if you do that, especially when you use hard pressure to burnish like I do. So don't worry, they're not sort of super dusty pencils or anything. This is Camel Brown A110. So we're getting a really nice golden tone now with the Camel Brown. And I'm going to take that right to the end with light pressure because we've got a couple of yellowy tones coming up. So I do want to just dull those down a bit. Don't want them to appear as bright as they are fully saturated. So we've got Yellow Ochre A064. And then finally, Honey, A076. And that'll give you a really nice, rich, golden, tanned, glowing skin tone. Okay, so next we've got Garnet, which is a really sort of deep wine red colour. Don't forget that these colours are your shadow colours. They're not going to be, they're not going to make up the majority of your face. So your, your portrait's not going to come out looking like a demon. 
because these are going to be used really sparingly but you do need it is important to have these dark tones or the shadow tones to make up the the face because that's what gives you your um your dimension on your face having different tones so we've then got passion fruit a050 now you'll notice i'm not quite burnishing all of the tooth out of these colors yet because i am going to come in at the end with this uber purple and that's going to counteract this red and um, make it look a little bit less scary <laughs> uh, then we've got burnt ochre which we've already used so yeah this one and finally marmalade a010 So I am coming in with that uber purple because um, as I've mentioned in other videos purple especially this kind of very cool purple it actually counteracts red tones um, so you know it works for makeup as well if you've got a really red toned skin if you've got rosacea things like that you'll probably be advised to get some makeup that has these cool purple tones in it or it's kind of cool bluish tone because it counteracts the brightness of the red you see how hopefully the camera's picking it up but you can see to your eye how it really has brought the red down to more of a shadow color than a than a bright red I'm crap at explaining things but hopefully you'll understand what I mean so if ever you're coloring a skin tone and it just seems to be way too red add some purple I'm just going to go back over with the mid-tone which was the uh, burnt ochre and then just fill in all that too so it's nice and smooth. There we go really like that skin tone next up we've got dark chocolate which is a118 so we're moving into the darker palette now and this one's a four color blend so we're still keeping with the kind of reddish i don't want to say red actually i want to say um warm brown and then the next one is is very much a cooler brown I wonder if it would be helpful for me to create a printable chart that's exactly the same as this for you all to, a blank one for you all to print out and fill in. Let me know. Uh, Sienna Brown, A048. So Sienna Brown is always lovely and warm and reddish, red based. Then we are cinnamon, which we've already used. So that's A027. And then we end on the burnt ochre. So I'm sorry that I'm sort of using the same colours over and over again, but you do find that, especially in smaller sets, um, that you will be using 
the same colours but in different combinations. It's the same even on the on the next page with the 120 set. I do use that earth red quite a lot on the peaches and cream, but they all look different. So that's what you're going for really. Having different tones of skin, even though you're using some of the same colours, they do turn out quite differently. And then finally, we've got charcoal grey, which is almost like a blue-black colour, but it works really well for a cool, dark skin tone. So it might look a little bit dark and scary as soon as you put it on, because it just looks too black. But you'll see when we mix it with the espresso, how it just helps to deepen the espresso colour. It doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't sort of stay black and blocky, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So the espresso is A071. So we're going to go over that charcoal grey. And hopefully you can see how how it just now looks like a darker version of the espresso. So it's really just mixing colours to create different shades. That's all you're doing. Then we've got A036, which is cocoa brown. And we finish with a, a brown that's got a greenish tinge to it, a green gold tinge, which is great for highlights on these cool brown skin tones. And it's called Coyote Brown. So you can see how those two different brown skin tones have got completely different tones to them. So this one is way more red and warm and this one is a lot more cooled down. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you uh, will find these useful. I'm now going to go on and turn over to our 120 set. I'm going to pause the video here so I can go and get all the pencils lined up ready, but it's just going to be instant for you. So I'll see you in a second. Hello, so that was quick. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the page that I showed you earlier. This is for the skin tones from the 120 set. And as I mentioned, Earth Red makes an appearance on pretty much all of them. <laughs> but uh, as we go through, you'll see that they all do look quite different to each other. So it's just those slight variations that make up different skin tones. So the Earth Red is A138, and I'm gonna zoom in, because that's what I, always forget to do <laughs> make sure that you're all nice and um, focused there we go so the earth red a138 is as I mentioned one of the new pencils featured in the 120 set and it is a beautiful color it's it can be used as the dark shadow it can be used as a mid-tone it can probably even be used as a highlight for a skin tone as well it just seems to have that kind of natural skin look to it I don't know what is natural skin <laughs> but I know what I mean you'll see when you get your set if you do or if you already have the set it is an absolutely perfect colour for skin tone it reminds me a little bit of the um, Prismacolor Nectar so that's one I use all the time in skin so next up we have the Marmalade Orange, A010. That blends really, really nicely with the Earth Red. It's another reason why that pencil in particular is really good because it just seems to blend with pretty much every type of, of skin pencil that you put with it. And then finally, we've got good old peaches and cream, A022. 
So again, this is another one that features quite heavily in these skin tones because it is the lightest of the pinky peachy pencils. So there we go, that's the first one done. Then we are starting again with the Earth Red, but this time we're going in a more pink direction, whereas that one was more of a peach, this is more of a pink. So we've got salmon pink here, which looks really, really bright. So we have to use the earth red and the peaches and cream to dull it down a little bit. As you can see, it just blends really, really well with the earth red, just as the marmalade did, even though they're two completely different colors, it just goes really nicely with it. We've then got the peaches and cream again. And I have put on the end here, cream. And I'm not sure whether or not to use that because it, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's not really as light as I'd like it to be. It's got more of a yellow tone, but it is the lightest of all of the yellows. So if I could have something like the buff titanium from the luminance, it'd be a lot better and it'd work a lot better. But I think what I'm gonna do is just put a layer of the peaches and cream down as we did before so we can sort of desaturate the yellow a little bit. So here I'm coming in with the cream which is A150 and I'm just going to go straight over all of the peaches and cream that we just put down. And basically just blend over the whole thing with the cream. There we go. So we're starting again. Oh no, we're not. We've got passion fruit this time, but Earth Red is a quick second. So starting with passion fruit, A050. So I think in the 72 set of pencils, this was just called passion fruit, and then they've changed it to passion fruit red in the 120 set, which they've done with quite a few colours actually. I think it's um instead of just being cinnamon, it's cinnamon brown. Um, and they've changed a couple of the names of the colours. I think that the ivory in the original set is now called jasmine yellow or jasmine something. I don't know why they've done that to be honest. Um, so yeah, back in with the earth red. I just love how it blends with anything you put with it. Such a versatile color. And peaches and cream again. So don't forget the golden rule if you think that something's looking a little bit too red or orangey, use a light purple to counteract it. I'm not gonna do that on this one because I just wanna keep it as it is, but that's just an optional extra for you to do if you wanted to. Okay, next up, we've got hazelnut brown which is A060, it's a brand new colour. And it's a really, really nice mid-brown. It's got a slight red tint to it, but not overly reddish. You've then got this Sienna Brown, which as we know is a very warm red brown. That's A048, and that does appear in your 72 set as well. Blends in really nicely with the hazelnut. And guess what? We're going to blend it with 
earth red. So just making sure we've got a nice little layer of light pressure so we can blend it in. I'm using my little Da Vinci dust brush. You can get them from Amazon or you can just use a, a makeup brush just to dust it off because when you do that with your hand, it does tend to smear. So finishing off with the earth red. And I think that might be the last time we use it on this actually. But you'll see when I pull back at the end, even though we have used the earth red and the peaches and cream quite a bit, they're all completely different skin tones. Okay, we've now got dark chocolate, which again appeared in the 72 set. It was just called dark chocolate and now it's called dark chocolate brown. It's A118. It's a little bit darker than the hazelnut. I haven't blended it with hazelnut on any of these, but you could definitely do that because as you can see, they're both really close together in tone. Because this is just a three color blend, I'm just bringing out the dark chocolate a little bit more than I usually would. Then we've got cinnamon, which we've already used on the previous page, A027. doing very well with staying in the lines on this one um where are we i'm just going to put a little bit more of the dark chocolate brown on here before it's fully burnished just to get a bit of a better blend sometimes i rush and i put too much pigment down and then i can't blend it properly And then finally, we've got Rust Orange. Which is A114, it's a brand new colour to the 120 set. But rather than orange, I do see this as just a really warm Light, well not light brown, medium brown I guess. And it just goes really, really well with the dark chocolate and the cinnamon. Okay, next up we are going with Coyote. So this has actually got a green tinge to it as we used it before on one of the previous um, skin tones on the other page that we did. It's actually been a couple of hours since I filmed that. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember what I've said and not said. Um, so yes, this has got a kind of greeny gold tinge. We're then blending that with Raw Sienna, A039, another new colour. goes really really well with the coyote because don't forget all the first colors are going to be your shadow colors you're not going to use them very much they're just going to be there to create a difference and a dimension so that it doesn't look very flat Then we've got Ginger, which I believe is another new colour, A112. We're getting a nice golden, rich palette now. I'm going to take that right to the end with light pressure so that we can layer our turmeric yellow over it so it won't be so harsh and bright of a yellow. So 
So turmeric yellow is A A077. And there we go. And then we've got one more that I've just squeezed onto the bottom and I'm hoping you can see this. I might have to pull my phone out a bit more because the book has actually reached the top of my desk so I can't go any further with it. Um, so this is one that I just squeezed onto the bottom. So we've got seven here instead of, um, instead of six. So we start with Burnt Umber, another new colour, A119. This is again another four colour blend. We've just gone a little bit darker this time. And then Raw Umber, which is A132, another brand new tone. I'm glad they've brought in the Raw Umbers, Raw Sienna. Um, that really helps when it comes to choosing your darker skin tones. They were severely lacking in the first set of 72. I'll put a link in the description of this video as well where you can go and buy your set of 120 if you want to get all of the range of colours that are on offer at the moment and be able to do all of these different skin tones. So this is Camel, A110, it's not a new colour. And I'm doing exactly the same thing as I did on the previous one, which is I'm taking the Camel right to the end of the box in a light layer so that we can put our turmeric yellow over it and it won't be so bright. There we go. So let me zoom out so you can see everything. Bring it down for you. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's another seven skin tones to add to the previous six from the 72 set that you can do with your set of 120 Arteza skin tones. Don't forget, I've got a few different videos showing you skin tones from all different brands of coloured pencil, and this won't be the last. I'm going to carry on doing this with as many coloured pencil sets as you guys wish, <laughs> and the ones that I've obviously got. And uh, yeah, so if there's anything I can do to help, any advice, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I really, really hope that these are useful for you, and that they will help you start doing uh, different portraits with your Arteza pencil set. So there's the first lot and then the second lot. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.